Dylan, after the way last season ended for you, how satisfying was it to be able to, to do what you did last night and know that you're going to play a big role in this bullpen going forward here? Uh, you know, if, you know, it meant a lot to me. Obviously, uh, last year uh, I was more of a cheerleader. Uh, you know, I was cheerleading uh, a lot of the guys last season, uh, and uh, this year I got got a chance to come in early in the game, and you know, I was just fortunate enough to go in a good situation and get the job done. Uh, but uh, you know. I've been waiting for that that time for a long time now. To your left, Dylan, Dave. Dylan, you, you guys aren't really considered with the Yankees. Yankees aren't really considered underdogs very often, but you're playing against the Red Sox team that was, you know, 108 games and considered the best team in the league. What, what, what's that like for you guys? I mean, it, do you like being kind of that team that, that's – do you see yourselves as an underdog, or how do you look at yourselves going into a series like this? Uh, you know, I, I don't see – I don't see ourselves as an underdog. I mean, I – you know, obviously Boston had a tremendous season. Uh, trem they have a tremendous team, and you gotta, you know, we respect them, and I feel like, you know, they, they respect us as well. Obviously, uh, you know, for the past two weeks is probably the first time we've had our team healthy, fully healthy. Uh, so it's fun. You know, we've been playing good baseball, and we'll try to continue to do so in this uh, series. I'll stay right there, Anthony. Dylan, uh, Gary Sanchez's defense behind the play was the focus going into the wild card game. He seemed to do well last night. Do you have, how much confidence does that give you in him, uh, you know, behind the plate? Well, I mean, I've never lost confidence in Gary. Uh, you know, I feel comfortable pitching to him, and you know, so do a lot of the guys in there. So, as a team, we never lost confidence in him. Uh, you know, obviously there was a lot of talks, but you know, we know the type of guy he is, the type of catcher he is, and. Uh, you know, he could impact the game on both sides, and, uh, you know, it's a luxury to have a guy like him. Other questions? We'll get you the microphone right here. You pitched so well last night in a critical situation. I know you grew up as a student of the game, loving baseball. I mean, to be a part of Yankee lore is, is pretty special. Any memories? I know it's a tense time of the year, but any memories of, you know, thinking back to when you were a kid? This is a, such a fun time of the year, too. Memories? Of, did it harken back any, any, any memories uh, as a kid watching, you know, MLB playoffs, especially last night, a, a big moment like that for you? Uh, for me, I mean, what I'll say is probably – as at this point, that's probably one of the, my biggest highlights of my career. You know, I've gotten a chance to watch a lot of great games. Derek Jeter's final game, Mariano's uh, breaking a uh, well, Mariano doing what he does his final game. Uh, I've gotten a chance to uh, watch and witness a, a, a lot of great games as a Yankee. But for me, that probably be my biggest highlight. Uh, you know, obviously. I can't compare to, you know, something that I've watched as a fan, but, you know, I'll put that as my number one for right now. Yeah, Brendan. Where are things at with the finger right now, and how are you managing that? I'm all healed up. Uh, I think uh, Steve Donahue, uh, Mike Shuck, and uh, Tim, our Lentic, our, our trainers, have done a tremendous job of trying to figure some things out uh, right now. It's all healed up. Uh, you know, I just got to make sure uh, I don't get myself again. Uh, Dan? One of the challenges that this lineup, uh, this Boston lineup presents, especially, you know, Betts, Benintendi, and uh, and Martinez, it seems like those three guys have really hit, hit you guys hard this year. They got a tremendous lineup, uh, one through nine. Uh, they're a tough team. Uh, tough, tough team to kind of Strike like they they don't strike out as much as uh, some other teams do. Uh, they got great great approach. They're well prepared. You know, uh, I think Mookie at the top. Uh, you know, is a guy that if he gets on, uh, he kind of sets the tone for the rest of the guys. So, you know, they're well prepared. You you got to kind of come with your A game every time you face them, and uh, that's what we'll try to do. Anything else for Dylan? Uh, we'll wrap up with Mark. So just going back to last year, what did you learn from that experience last October and September and October, and how did that help you this year and especially now? Uh, biggest thing for me, uh, just kind of mindset-wise, just kind of be prepared for any situation. Obviously, uh, last night was either when to go home, and you know I wasn't ready to go home yet. Uh, so um, I learned a lot last year watching Chad Green come in a situation and get out of it 
and kind of give our, our team a chance, a breathing chance to come back and, and score some runs in that bottom half. David Robertson last year, I think he went for three innings. Uh, you know, I got the chance to talk to him before the game yesterday. So, you know, watching those guys, I felt like uh, kind of helped me prepare for that situation. And uh, Boone also gave me a heads up before the game that if kind of came down to a similar situation, I would be in the game. And I think that uh, just kind of gave me more confidence that, uh, you know, uh, that I'm being brought in, in a situation like that with the middle, middle of the order. So, you know, it made me feel better out there.